One. Councillor Abigail Nolly, thanks for joining Newsport. My pleasure. Okay, let's get straight to it. Over the past four years, there's been heavy criticism that council hasn't achieved that much over that term. Is that fair to, for, the, for the public to think that council and councillors haven't achieved much in the last four years in that term? Okay, so there is an aspect of uh, truth in that. Oh, I think I actually spent four years trying to avoid more disaster happening. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that was a big part of my four years. Um, when you say di they're trying to avoid disaster happening, what do you specifically okay, mean by that? Okay, so there was a lot of going over old ground. Uh, for example, QT Pool, it had already been looked into and rejected. We wasted time and money going into that. Valley Hooli had already been looked at and rejected. Uh, the ferry, that's just been a huge disaster. Um, it, it was all already worked out. We've now wasted you know, nearly eight million dollars, give or take. Um, things like that. Things that we're going, we went over old ground, and in the meantime, we, you know, myself and, and Roy, for example, we were trying to get more money into our capital expenses and get more of the basics done. Yeah. So um, there is an element of truth. In what do you say when people say that? Your, your, your time as a councillor has come and gone, that you've been here for a long time, it's time for fresh blood and new faces. What's your, what's your own response to when you, hear, when you hear those sentiments? Okay, so of course people are allowed to, to believe what they, what they want, but I think now is really not the time that you're going to look for new blood. I have been there, I, ex I understand the situation, and if something, if you have a new candidate comes along and says, I promise you this, I promise you that, um, think about why it hasn't been done up until now. There's probably a good reason why it hasn't been done. It's probably been looked into and already rejected, or it just can't be done. So don't go over old ground, don't rehash things that can't be done, and don't waste time, because we do not have time to waste, especially in this next four years. Sustainable development, mm -hmm. are you against it? No, absolutely not. I love sustainable development. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's, you've hit the nail on the head, sustainable, Development. Do you feel that as a shire, we're, we, are we currently stagnant? Is there a consensus in the shire that we are a stagnant shire and not looking forward? The vision's stopped. Like in terms of for the betterment of the shire, is that con are you conscious that people want development in this shire? Um, there are things that I, I read here. It's, uh, it's really up to private enterprise. We have said no to development very little, mm -hmm. almost, almost never said no, if that makes sense. So it's really up to the developers, the owners, to go ahead with what's been allowed. In your campaigning so far, yep. one, of your, one of your cash prize slogans has been yep. bring things back to basics. Yep. Specifically, what does that mean? Okay then, so I, I, I do believe that we need we really need to look at, it. Um, and this is pre-Jasper also, I just wanted to say that. So when we do have our capital uh, works budget, really look at our infrastructure and that's that's not just water and wastewater that's our road that's our gutters that's our um, footpaths that's our, um, our building maintenance our fleet maintenance and also our operationals um, budget so it's you know our mowing our street cleans our um, local laws and you know mm. pet, pest, pet and pest control mm. things like mm. that so that's make sure they're right first why has council you're big on transparency and openness mm -hmm. why in your opinion has council failed so miserably in the way that it's communicated with um douglas shy residents particularly during these double disasters and through this water crisis okay i think the wrong wording has been used a lot personally um i think we there is a certain amount of uh professionalism that needs to come out obviously of council but I think our, our messaging has to be more succinct and more often. And lastly, mm -hmm. what is what is your absolute main focus for these next four years? What do you want to say that you've achieved in four years from now if you get re-elected? Okay, so it's actually quite simple. We have the eyes and ears of the state and federal governments on us at the moment. So we really need to push hard this bring, uh, build back better, okay? so. If we're going to get an unprecedented amount of funding, it's going to happen now. So we should be really looking at rebuilding top to bottom our water and our wastewater infrastructure. That includes uh, water supply, so our reservoirs, um, 
and that also includes our, our road net, network. So I would I would say get us out of this. What I would like to see in the next four years is get us out of uh, this disaster with, with Build Back Better. And I know it's not necessarily the council's job, but at the end of four years, I'd like to see the mill continue because that's such an important part of the show. Councillor Noly, thanks yeah. for your time. My pleasure. Thank you very much.